Monday, and it's time to talk technology. That means our tech expert, Luis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group, with us once again. Hello, Luis. Hello, Mark. How are you? I'm well today, and uh, thank goodness we don't have any rain. At least we're not supposed to. I was looking at the forecast as we're recording this on Friday morning, and there's not supposed to be any rain on Monday. So fingers crossed and knock on wood. <laughs> yeah, we finally got to the point in California where we're like, yeah, no, we've had enough rain. There you go. <laughs> hey, there's a really fascinating story online in the Salt Lake Tribune about the Utah State Legislature looking to pass a social media regulation bill aimed at protecting minors. And the governor, Spencer Cox, signed the bill last Thursday, and the state's prepared to go uh, to a legal fight against tech companies over this. What's happening? Yeah, so Utah has passed one of the most restrictive laws to protect minors from social media, requiring age verification before any user can open an account. They're going to require permissions from parents before a minor can open a social media account. And they want the social media platforms to limit minors' use of the platforms from 10.30 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. unless a parent approves those changes. It lets parents have access to the minor's account, including all posts and private messages. And it just is a very big attempt to limit social media activity by minors. But the chances are that this is going to be fought in court by Instagram and Facebook and all the other ones claiming that you know this infringes on the First Amendment right of free communication. And so Utah's the first. There are several other states that are contemplating taking similar action, so we'll have to see where this goes. Right, and uh, there is also the very practical concern. It would require the tech companies to store those passwords of kids where they can be accessed, and they're Mm -hmm. worried, very real worry, about the fact that if they're hacked, which does happen, you have data breaches, that you could have even bigger problems. So this proposal looks like it's fraught with a lot of challenges. And there's some technology challenges as well. I mean, making this work in one state, but not another, is going to be very difficult. Right. So they're thinking it might set up like a de facto national standard, but we'll have to see where this goes. It's obviously headed to the courts. Luis Alvarez, C- yep. Luis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group, has been our guest this morning online. It's AlvarezTG.com, at AlvarezTG. That's their Twitter handle. And Luis, the toll-free number for the I-Team. Give us a call at 866-78-I-Team. That's 866-784-8326.